In this video, we're going to explain how to prepare any two qubit state. Any two qubit state looks like this. These are the amplitudes. And we're going to create explicitly local gates W1, W2, and W3, such that this two qubit state is taken into the state zero, zero. Notice that by preparing is in the other direction, but this is equivalent because circuits, they go both directions here. If you want to go in this direction, you just take the inverse of this, the inverse of this, the CC gate, and the inverse of this. Before explaining how to compute this W sub i, let me do the following notation. Remember that if you have two complex vectors in CN, then the inner product is just U sub 1 conjugate B1 plus U sub n conjugate B sub n. Also, let me define this unitary matrix for any x and y that are different from zero, zero. We define this unitary matrix. One over the square root of the norm of x squared plus the norm of y squared times x, y, negative y conjugate, x conjugate. For example, if we have like u of three, one, it will be one over the square root of 10. Here we have just three, one, negative one, three. Notice that this is a rotation y of some angle. In general, if x and y are real numbers, we will have a rotation, a rotation y. Uh, another example, u of, 2 plus 3i, 5i. This is just 1 over the square root of the norm of this square, which is 13, plus 25. And here we have 2 plus 3i, 5i, negative the conjugate, the conjugate of y is negative 5i, negative would be 5i, and here the conjugate 2 minus 3i. It is easy to check that for any x and y different from 0, 0, we get a unitary matrix. We will be using this notation to provide the w1, w2, and w3 explicitly in terms of the amplitudes of this two qubit state that we want to prepare. Before computing W1, let me define the vector A1 to be the vector C0, C1. Notice that this is a vector in C2. And A2 equal to C2, C3, another vector in C2. Then we can compute uh, the inner product between A1 and A2. And we're going to compute a number k. k, this is a complex number. This number is equal to either the norm of a2 over the norm of a1. This is in the case that this inner product is equal to zero. Or it is equal to negative the norm of a2 over the norm of a1 times the dot product of a1 with a2 over the norm of this complex number. Then we define this k, and now we are ready to define the first w1. w1 is just the matrix u of, let me check, C3 minus K times C1, comma, C2 conjugate minus K conjugate, C0 conjugate, and this is a unitary matrix, and we do the transpose of this matrix, which is also unitary, and this is our W1. Okay, we have our first W1. Let's compute W3 and W2. Once we have W1, 
then we compute this two cubic state. Let me, let me call it C1 equal to uh, the CC, matrix CC, remember that this matrix is the matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, negative 1. We can multiply this matrix times uh, the identity matrix tensor product with W1 and times this state. And this will give me a state of the form eta 0, 0, 0 plus eta 1, 0, 1 plus eta 2, 1, 0 plus eta 3, 1, 1. Now, with this state, we compute the matrix W2 like this. W2 is going to be equal to the unitary matrix that you get by using the vectors eta1 conjugate, eta2, eta3 conjugate. You use this one and this one to create a unitary matrix, and this is your unitary matrix W2. This is your local gate W2. And then, uh, with this unitary matrix, we compute another state, the state C2 equal to W2, tensor product with the identity times C1 and this is equal to let's call it gamma 0 0 0 plus gamma 1 0 1 plus gamma 2 1 0 plus gamma 3 1 1 finally our matrix W3 is going to be equal to the unitary matrix that you get when you use gamma 0 conjugate and negative gamma 1 conjugate. And you do the transpose of this. And then you can check that if you use this matrix W1, W2, W3, and you apply this circuit, it will take you into the basic state 0, 0. Let's do an example using Wolfram Mathematica. We start by denoting I2, the identity matrix, and CC, the control C gate. And now we define the unitary matrix U of X, Y. This is the example that we will be considering. The first two entries give us the vector A1, and the last two entries give us the vector A2. Now we can compute the inner product of A1 and A2. This is the formula for the complex number K. Now that we have K, we can compute the first local gate, the matrix W1. We do the transpose of U of these two particular values. Notice that here we use the value for K. When we do the computation, we get this expression for the matrix W1. Once we have the matrix W1, we compute the new state. This new state is the product of the original state with the local gate W1 applied to qubit 0 and the non-local gate CC. With this new state, we can compute the matrix W2. This gives us the second local gate that we are using in this circuit. This is the expression for the, non, for the local gate W2. Once we have W2, we compute the new state just by applying the local gate W2 to qubit 1. Uh, we notice that always the second two entries of this new state is, are going to be 0. With this new state, 
we compute the last local gate that we'll be using, the matrix W3. This is the expression for the matrix W3. And finally, we can check that if we apply the local gate W3 applied to qubit zero, we get the state zero, zero.